Hey guys, here's an unsolicited how-to video. Uh, I don't get into my own stuff too much, but I lose teeth all, I have people lose teeth all the time. It's getting to be a big deal. So the last while on, when some of them come in, I've been doing this new trick. I think this would apply worldwide. So these little pins here, if you, this is a 135. If you give uh, a backwards whack on this and catch, you know, concrete demolition, tearing apart a foundation, all that's holding that is that little finger sized pin. All the back pressure goes on the pin, horseshoes them, pin gets loose, hangs lower, tooth, and it falls off. So I've been, you can use your old cutting edges. This one has a new one, but never throw away any hardened steel. But if you weld these on here, now when uh, when they're back bucketing, going backwards to rake stuff away from the tracks, concrete, rock, stuff like that, now the back of this tooth will never catch and because that's what pulls them off. And I did them on the sides too here, just so that that's the first thing to hit so that anything would graze over it, not catch the side of the tooth and cause it to pull. So just a little backyard cheat you can do and it will save you teeth. The problem with losing teeth is that people, much like a great white shark that has rows of teeth, some people seem to think that when this one falls off, the other shark teeth, the other pointy smaller one underneath is like the backup tooth, and they will dig on that one, on the adapter, or the shank as they call it. So get your welder plasma torch cutters out, hack up your old bucket edge and put some little bumpers on the sides and bottom of your buckets and you'll solve your tooth problem. All right, hope that helps somebody out there. It's starting to save me a bunch of headaches. And here in another part of my yard for, save the 10 seconds of dead time of walking over here. So this is a bucket that's had this treatment and it works great. This was a little bit thinner steel. Well, it originally was a probably a three quarter, seven eighths. It had worn down as a bucket edge, but, but it is doing its job. I didn't do side ones on here. So this could, that still sticks out further, but chances are fairly slim of hitting that one and blowing a tooth off, but the bottom ones most definitely. So. All right, let's hear about your welding projects. So just to put a, not a disclaimer, but not that Todd's an idiot, and whether he is or not, but it's going to keep you from ever losing a tooth again. You're not going to, around here, guys split stumps. The days of the clearing and burning are done. So when they take their tooth, drive it into a stump like crazy. And here we got stumps bigger than the machines. I mean, not far from it sometimes. It's nothing to be hitting four foot furs. So when they go down into the stump to split it for a grinder, this pin in here still, when they're pulling the tooth back up, all the back weight is on the pin. So it can still horseshoe and bend them and that's hard on them too. So those little stopper plates aren't going to do too much for that. But, but for demolition, rock work and back raking in front of your tracks in hard ground, it will do the trick. So this is part of my tooth collection, new and used. Tiger teeth, flat teeth, pointy teeth.